Hi everyone, welcome. Um, St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, so today I'm making a St. Patty's Day craft. It looks like this. It's fun and colorful, and stick with me and I'll show you how I made it. For this project I am using a coffee filter and if you don't have a coffee filter at home you can always grab a paper towel and cut that into a circle and use that instead. And the first step of this is pretty simple. I've got some watercolor paints here and of course a brush and some water and you just have to paint the coffee filter. It will absorb a lot of the paint and you'll see that the paint spreads while I am painting. There's no rules to painting this, it's just whatever colors you want to put on there. Go ahead and make it as colorful as you want, or if you want to just use two colors or one color and make it monotone, that's okay too. This project is pretty fail safe. There's no right or wrong way to paint in the coffee filter, and in that sense it's like it feels achievable for someone who has dementia. So for someone who may be experiencing a lot of failures in their daily life and being conscious of not being capable to do things that they used to be able to do, having something that they can achieve and be successful at is a really big thing for their mental health. Like it really boosts their self-confidence. And it's also fun. Um, when so many other activities during the day may feel frustrating to them, this is something that can bring them a lot of joy and pleasure. Now once your coffee filter is all colored in, you can let that dry and we'll work on the next step while it's drying. So I have a sheet of construction paper here. I'm using green because we're making a shamrock. And this step is similar to when you fold paper to make snowflakes around Christmas time. So grabbing the green paper and folding it in half and then folding it in half again. And then at this point I'm taking the shorter edge and folding it up towards the longer edge. And then what we'll do is cut two curved lines. So I'll draw the lines on here so you can see where I will be cutting. So using your scissors, cut along those lines. Now the paper will be thick, so your loved one may need some help with this step, but fortunately it's only two short lines to cut. And then when you unfold your paper, you should have a shamrock shape. And now I'm gonna make a smaller shamrock to put in the center. And so I'm taking that piece of folded paper, drawing one more line. This will be the waist that I cut away. And then unfold it. And I have a nice little leaf to put inside. Now we're gonna put both parts of this project together. So we've got our coffee filter and we've got our shamrock. All you have to do is glue the shamrock onto the coffee filter. And I noticed that the pencil line was visible on the side that was facing me, so I just grabbed my eraser and gave that a little bit of a cleanup. And then taking the other shamrock that I've made, the smaller one, I'm going to glue that inside of the larger one. This leaves a little gap between the larger one and the small one. You can see those lovely colors that we painted onto the coffee filter earlier. So at this point, all you have to do is trim off the bits of the coffee filter that are sticking out beyond the edges. Now 
Now you can leave your project looking like this. I chose to outline it with my black marker just to make it pop a little bit more. So I went around all of the edges and then wrote my St. Patrick's Day message inside. And a few lines to make it look like a clover leaf. I hope that you enjoyed that and that you get your own chance to make a St. Patty's Day shamrock with your loved one. And if you liked this video, I just ask you to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.